Uh, when I was eight, I was diagnosed with both Crohn's disease and arthritis, which are two chronic illnesses, meaning they're incurable, so you have them for life. Um, they're painful, they sap your energy, but they also you know, come in waves, like a lot of chronic illnesses. So there's times when you feel okay, pretty good, other times when you feel lousy, and then there's a whole bunch of time in between where you're not quite sure what you're gonna get. Here's where the story gets really cool, because what I had thought was the thing that was holding me back the most, which was my invisible disability and having to deal with it, turned out to kind of be my superpower, because I was open and honest with my employees about my own illness. And guess what? They started being open and honest to me about theirs. So when people ask me what resilience is, it's basically the ability to bounce back. So, you know, Mr. Happy is basically a stress ball. And you can put him under a lot of stress. You can squeeze him, you can twist him, you can do all sorts of stuff with him. But as soon as the pressure's off, what happens? Typically, a lot of us view accommodation from the point of view of something that's expensive, something that's kind of complicated, something that involves, you know, a lot of equipment. But the reality, particularly of invisible disabilities, is that often accommodations, effective accommodations can be very small. Sometimes they can be inexpensive or maybe use existing resources or cost no money at all. If you grew up like I have, where you have these invisible illnesses and half the time when you talk about them no one believes you, it really impairs communication because you start to think that, you know, maybe communication is impossible. What we need to do on both sides is to try and bring that emotional edge down because the more we bring the emotional edge of the conversation downwards and deal with that first, the easier it becomes to have clear communication and get to the heart of the matter and find solutions to the problem. Dan, I just 